What is going on YouTube fam? Mike here shooting another high adventure video. Sun is just coming up. What a beautiful morning. The tide's coming in. It'll be coming in for about the next hour and a half. The water is calmer than it was a couple of days ago when I was here. I think that all means one thing. Crabs should be moving into the bay. Here is my bay. We're gonna be fishing. There's the mouth of it right up there. Gonna get a couple of lines out. We might be getting some rain as the day goes on. In fact, there's a pretty good chance of it. So we might have to break out the rain gear, but that's pretty typical for Oregon, right? I think it's always raining in Oregon. So I've got two different types of these little toss out traps. One square and then one folds up like a triangle. What these do, they just lay on the bottom like this. Then when you pull them in, they clamp shut. Well, this one's all tangled up, but let me show you this one. When you pull them in, get a little line here, lays flat like that. And when you pull them, they just trap shut just like that. And sandwich the crabs right in the middle. I've got some chicken here with me. Just take a leg. You put it right in the middle. They've got a little wire bit here. Little metal piece that you pierce it on. Then you have it in just like that. And then that's just gonna lay on the bottom. Crabs are gonna scuttle up to it. They're gonna clamp them shut in it. That's the theory anyway. All right, let's take this. We swing it around and then out it goes. Just like that. We just let that sit on the bottom. One line out, let's go get the other one ready. Second trap is ready. Nice plump piece of leg in there. Well, that'll do for now. This tide is much higher this morning than it is in the evening. So that's a good, good thing to know. So it's been about five minutes. Let's go check our first trap we threw out. Yeah, pull them shut. Uh, feels pretty light. Oh, no, no, we got one. Oh, he's on the outside. He's on the outside. Look at that. Whoa, check that out. It's a big male. Look at that, first one. We gotta measure him up. That's awesome. Score for the first. Yeah. There we go, it's gonna be close. And he is just a little short. You can see right there, just a little bit short. That's still a nice crab though. Good way to start. That's awesome. So I love this kind of trap fishing because you get to check your traps about every five, six minutes. Instead of pot fishing, where like you let them soak. Some people let them soak all night. Some people like check them every 20, 30 minutes. This kind of stuff, you don't want them to go that long or else because that bait is exposed, you'll get picked clean. I felt like I had something on here at first and then all of a sudden I lost weight. Yeah, I think I had something in the, well, no, that chicken looks pretty undisturbed. Maybe not. Let's check this guy again. What do we got, what do we got? We got a couple small ones. Uh, a couple of males, wow, three for three on the males. It's a good sign. It's got a little bit bigger ones. Rise and shine, it's lion checking time. Every once in a while I see a, a head of a, there's a sea lion out there. Seal, whatever, I don't know. This feels like it's got a little weight to it. Let's see if we got anything of a decent size. Oh yeah, look at this, check this out. You know you're at the right depth when you're getting that many crabs in it. Male, male and female, sweet. Look at that, woo, too small right there. This one's gonna be close right here in the trap. Let's get our stick out. This one might be big enough. And no, not even close actually, Never mind. I honestly thought that guy right there might get us, but nope, negatory. Still, that's good. When we're getting that many crabs in a trap, that means we're at a good depth. They're down there, so just a matter of time, we'll get some. What do we got, what do we got? One, another male. We're definitely getting way more males at this high tide. Not big enough, but great sign. Just a little too small. I've gotten about half a dozen of these this morning. 
shoot. I got plucked clean. Gotta get more bait. Clamp it shut. Yeah, this feels weighty. What do we got? What do we got? It's always so much fun when you pull the trap up. Whoa, oh, there goes a big one. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, yeah, go this way. This way. He just fell off. Yeah, yeah. Chase him up to shore. Chase him up to shore. Come on. Come on. I think it's a big one anyway. Uh, got him. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. Got him. Yes. Is that a male? Yes, it's a male. Oh, that's big enough. I guarantee it. Woo. Little drama. Let's measure him up. Just dropped off. Oh, yeah, that'd be good in Washington. Look at that. First keeper of the morning. Nice. Go toss him in the bucket. That's a pretty crab. Yeah. Yeah, we got something in this one. I've got the weighty, the weighty feel. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, there's a big one. Look at that. There's a keeper. There's a keeper, guarantee it. Yep, that's big enough. That's big enough, guys. Number two. Let's go drop them in the bucket. Check this out. Look at that. So we've got three other ones, plus this guy. Now, where I got the other two were from yesterday. I was actually out here shooting another crabbing video. Actually, I was kind of up and down the coast. If you guys want to check out that video, something will probably pop up like right up here. Or well, there'll be a link in the description below. Uh, I actually smoked crab legs that day. They were fantastic. Best way I've ever eaten crab. So check out that video if you want. Right at the peak of the tide, in fact, we should start seeing the tide switch. I should start to see the current start to slowly move out. I'm interested to see um, what side of the tide these crabs are biting on. So far, we got here about an hour and a half before the tide was at its peak. We got in two, um, but sometimes it could be either on the front or the back end of that tide. Uh, those crabs can be feeding more on one side or the other. So we'll see if we get any more on the back side of this high tide or not. Let's go check our other trap. Let's see if we can go double up. Can we go a big male in each one? Haven't done it yet. Right here. Gonna have a big old piggy in it, right? Snap it shut. Ooh, it's got weight to it, ladies and gentlemen. It's got good weight to it. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Whoa, ooh, do we have a couple good ones in there? Whoa, 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 nope, 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 nope. Nope, I don't want this one getting away. This one might be big enough. Come on. Come on. Come on. Gotcha. Let's check it out. Look at that. We got four of them in there. They are feeding as the tide goes out. Look at this. Here we go. Let's see that. It's definitely a male. That one's a male too. Do we have two? Wait, they're all males. Four males. Wow. Let's see. See this one first. Oh, just barely too short. No, 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 wait. No, he's good, he's good. So there's one keeper. Let's check this guy. Let's check this guy. Who did we double up? That one's gonna be close. Let's put him in here. Snap it, well, okay. You stay there. We doubled up. We got two keepers. Two males in the trap. Woohoo! look at that. That's awesome. Got a couple of them. That's the first time we've doubled up the males. Sweet. Look at that. Into the bucket they go. Sweet. Big old bucket of crabs. Doesn't get any better than that right there. All right. Last couple of throws. Oh, I haven't gotten anything. Not even a little one. The tide's starting to really go out now. You can see behind me. That's out at sea. We're supposed to be getting some rain here later this afternoon. And uh, I think that is our storm. In fact, not even later this afternoon. It's supposed to be coming in in like in the next hour or so. I think it's close to about 10 o'clock in the morning right now. We have our five in the bucket, I guess seven total, two from yesterday. I think what we're gonna go try and do 
is I think I want to go try a little surf perch fishing. The swell is supposed to be a lot calmer today. I actually haven't been out to the open ocean beach yet. I've just been in this bay. So I think we're gonna go throw down a little perch fishing. Let's go get some bait and uh, see if we can catch some surf perch. Also keep our eye out for some crabs as well. All right, heading out. The rain has started to come down at a pretty good clip. Definitely a little wet, a little drippy. Let's go see what this open ocean looks like here. Yeah. Look at all this timber. All this stuff just washes up and they just pile it up here along the along the bank. All right, I guess this is as good a spot as any to start. I have some little gulp squid, a little white squid. I know a lot of people use sandworms. I think that's what they're called. But COVID has ravaged the sandworms from the store. So this was the best, like the next best thing I felt like. Poke that through. Something like that, there we go. Kind of just making this up as we go. I've never fished for surf perch before, but that looks fairly solid. Give that a try. I have stumbled upon some tide pools are pretty cool. Let's see if there are any crabs around here. What's this down here? We got a shell of some sort. It's like a clam or oyster. That's a whole one. Look at that. That's pretty. Pretty, pretty cool inside. That's a fun find. Look at that. It's just like a cluster of them. That's so weird i've never seen them like that before ah huh. that's crazy pretty cool though i decided i gotta stop and pitch into a couple of these little tide pools here i don't know it just looks kind of good i don't do much ocean fishing but if i were to this looks like a spot where there'd be some fish Oh, I th that felt like a bite right down here. I don't know, that felt suspiciously like a bite. Let's try it again. I know I've got all this reef and stuff around here, but that felt like it popped back at me. Highly suspect. So the surf perch fishing has been a no-go. Normally I know people can, you can like see them like literally in the surf kind of jetting around as the water goes in and out, but I don't wonder if maybe, maybe the water is just too, Maybe it's too rough. I don't know. I haven't seen, even seen any darting around like in the shallow water. So basically this just turned into a long walk down the beach. I've kind of worked up an appetite. I think we're going to get back and boil some crab. Check this out. I was checking out the pier and look what I found. Look, it's a little snare trap. This is like seven bucks. That's pretty cool. So what you do is you put bait in there and it's got all these little loop snares all surrounding it. And you usually put on a fishing rod and you throw it out. And then you jerk it in really quickly and those snares tighten up. Um, around the crab's legs. I would go and throw this out, except I don't have the right kind of fishing rod for this. I only have six pound test line and like a medium action rod. So I think I would probably end up losing this. But that's a nice find. We'll have to use that maybe when we come back to the coast. You know, I always throw my trap way out off the pier, but what you need to do is try to drop it under the pier. It's, it's probably about two feet deeper under there. All right, we are Right on the beach, right at low tide. Super, super low tide, actually. I've got my little cook stove here. I've got it full of some bay water. I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. Once the fire's gone, we're just gonna wait for that water to boil. No need to add salt since it's straight from the ocean. 
put the lid back on, that'll help it warm up faster. All right, look at that. Water's boiling up. Go ahead and drop a couple of our crustaceans right in. That boiling water kills them fast. Two, go ahead and put the lid back on. Let those boil. Probably go ahead and let those boil for about 10, 12 minutes maybe at the most. All right. Shell is starting to lift up. Check that out right there. Ooh, that's hot. Got a little hot water on me there. Look at that. Set it right on our plate here. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and take these down to the ocean, dunk them in really quickly to cool them off. Drop a couple more in. Now what we're gonna do, since I'm making crab cakes, is we're just gonna pluck all the meat out of the legs, the claws, and there's some in the body as well. And uh, we're just gonna put it, I've got a little bowl here. I'm just pile it all up in here until I have enough to make, oh, maybe three, maybe four crab cakes, I don't know. I've got plenty of crabs to clean, so I've got four cooking now. So however many that'll make. All right guys, check that out. That is three crabs right there. That is a lot of meat. Now we're gonna kind of shred this up a little bit so we can make some nice little patties and then let me show you what we're gonna put in with this meat for our crab cakes. So now that our meat is all shredded up, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some nice parsley to it. A nice tablespoon probably. Go ahead and mix that parsley in with all the crab meat. So after we've added the parsley, we can do one of two things. We can either add breadcrumbs or we can do salting crackers. For me, I'm gonna do a little bit of both. So maybe like, like half a cup in there. Take just a nice bit of saltines here. Just crumble them up as finely as you can. Right in, stirring that crab meat, the breadcrumbs, and the saltines all together. There we go, that looks good. Look at that, we got a nice pot. That's a big old pot too, of crab meat and breadcrumbs. Whoa, 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 let's not spill any of that. Now, I have whipped together a nice sauce. In this sauce, Worcestershire sauce, one egg. I also have some mayo. I put some Old Bay seasoning and some Louisiana Cajun seasoning along with, what else did I put in there? Oh, Dijon mustard. And I also put some Old Bay. Did I say Old Bay? I think I already said Old Bay. Oh, salt. I also added salt too. And I mixed it all together. Now this is just a recipe I pulled off of uh, the internet. You can find like a ton of different recipes for crab cakes. So I kind of just modified it with the Old Bay and um, the Louisiana Cajun seasoning. But I mixed it all together like that. Now we marry them together. We take a little bit of our sauce here, perched precariously on our lap. Then we just start scooping that sauce right in to our crab meat. I'm gonna just kind of start a little bit at a time because I don't want it to get too soggy, but I also don't want it too dry and it won't form together. Go so ahead and mix all of that together. See how that's looking right there? It smells really good. In fact, we're gonna taste a little bit. Oh yeah, that sauce is delicious. There we go, look at that, just like that. That's the consistency I want right there. Perfect. Then we're just gonna take some out, just like this, kind of a glob of it, and you're just gonna mix it together, kind of like a snowball almost. You're gonna kind of pack it together, forming little cakes, like this. See that? That's a crab cake. Boom, set it on a plate. Now, here's an important step. Let these cool. Now, it's easy to do this right now uh, because it's probably like 40 degrees outside, but you wanna let these cool for about 20 minutes or so after you form them. It kind of helps them become, I don't know, one with each other, whatever. Another little crab cake right there. We've got actually quite a few. We'll be able to make quite a few. Oh, we're gonna get a lot of good crab cakes. And that was only three crabs. I was a little worried that we wouldn't be able to make, like I was gonna need to cook like five or six crabs up. But there's a ton of meat in the body of the crabs. Like right at the crux of the legs where the legs meet the body. A lot of meat there, so. That's where actually a lot of this came out of. And that meat that's in the, like in the little body cavity areas, it's, uh, it's already super like shredded when you pull it out of there. So it's pretty easy then to sh kind of, you, there's not much shredding that needs to be done because you kind of shred it as you pull it out. Now, we're just gonna cover these because I am surrounded by seagulls. And yeah, I see all of you. I see all of you, they're just waiting. They're waiting for me to make an error, like not cover my food. I got two, four, seven. Seven crab cakes out of three crabs. 
That's fantastic, actually, because none of those crabs were exactly, like, massive. I mean, they were decent size, but not massive. Anyway, we'll cover these, let these cool outside, and then we're going to throw them in some cannoli oil, canola oil, whatever, and uh, we're going to cook them up. All right. We've got the heat back on. Now, this is canola oil. I know it says olive oil there, but actually I'm using canola oil. I'm going to put some oil right in there, like, shave. All right, so we got a little rain coming down, and it's hitting the oil, causing uh, causing the oil to jump up and down. But that means it's hot enough, so we're just going to go ahead and put our crab cakes right on, just like that. Kind of dip, roll them around in the oil a little bit. That's plenty of crab cake, that's for sure. I'll be eating crab cake tonight. Sweet. Now we just put the lid back on. We'll let those cook for about five or six minutes on one side, then we'll flip them. All right, it's been about seven minutes. Now you have to flip these nice and easily. Let's see how they look. Oh, look at that. That is the perfect color. That is exactly what we want right there. Oh yeah, oh, it doesn't get better than that right there. All right, let's see how these look. Oh, <laughs> let me bring this closer. Let me show you guys here. Let's pick out. A delectable morsel here look at this check that out when my camera zoom in on it look at that both sides cooked to perfection oh man these are gonna be delicious got a couple right there let's see how they taste fresh crab cakes right out of the ocean cook them right on the ocean Wow Wow, wow, guys. Look at that, right on the inside. We'll get a zoom in, cook to perfection. That, that's incredible. Look at that. When you get that golden brown, you create like a crust on the outside of the patty. Mmm. And then you have the soft meat of the crab on the inside, but it gives it a crunch that is just out of this world. Fresh caught Dungeness crab crab cakes on a beautiful evening here at the coast. Amazing. Well, YouTube fam, we are full of crab. The sun has gone down. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. And as always, I will see you in the next one.